Smart Tempo also got a couple updates with the 10.4.2 update. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you has to do with multi-track uh, audio analysis. So Smart Tempo can now import multi-track stems and have those multi-track stems follow or define the project tempo. So Smart Tempo can now analyze tempo data across multi-track recordings. So right now my Smart Tempo is set to keep project tempo. And if I import some stems that are a different tempo than my session, my right now my session is 138. These are loops that were recorded at 120 BPM. So let's pull these in. I'll just say create new tracks. And watch what happens. I'm gonna play this with the metronome. So the imported audio stays the same tempo. It stays at 120 BPM. So let's start over here. Instead of keeping the project tempo, let's adapt the project tempo. So I'll import those stems again. Create new tracks. Let's see what happens this time. Now the metronome now matches up because the session tempo, the project tempo, was adapted from the loops. So Logic was able to analyze the tempo information of all of those loops and come up with a tempo of 120 and adjust the project tempo. Now let's say you wanna do the opposite. Let's say that you want the stems to adapt to the project tempo as opposed to the project adapting to the stems tempo. So let's give this a shot. What I'll do is just click here, go down to Smart Tempo Project Settings. And right here it says set imported audio files to, I'm just gonna say on. And you can also do this for new recordings as well. And then I'll make sure to change this to keep project tempo. And then I'll drag in those stems again, create new tracks. And this time what it's gonna do is it's going to uh, speed up the playback of all of these multi-track stems to match the project tempo. So this is incredibly useful and makes it a lot easier to import a whole loop libraries and play around with them and use them no matter what the tempo of the original loops was. Now this also works with multi-track live drums. So in the next video, I'll show you that.